welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. So it is now officially the time for spring cleaning and I want to do a bunch of decluttering, a bunch of cleaning. I wanna get rid of a bunch of stuff and just kind of start fresh. We're gonna be starting that underneath my bathroom sink. Now, I have not really touched everything that's under here in a very long time and I know there is stuff under here that I need to get rid of. It's so old. I have so many like hair products, lotions, just random stuff that I honestly don't really ever use or reach for. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are going to be cleaning out underneath my bathroom sink. Now, this is very uncomfortable for me to film because this bathroom is very, very small. I kinda had to set up my filming stuff in the hallway here and I'm like scrunched up <laughs> in my bathroom because it's just like, as you can see, it's just very, it's just very small under here. So this probably isn't like gonna be the best quality video I've ever filmed. I really do apologize for that. I always envy the people that can film videos like this and do it so well and flawlessly, but me, we're just ratchet over here, but we're doing the best that we can. I think the next video I wanna film as part of like this declutter is my bedroom, like my dresser drawers, my closet, and just do a full closet clean out. That's kind of like my next goal of what I want to do. But I figured we would just kind of start off small, do underneath my bathroom sink, and just see where this kind of takes us. So yeah, as you can see, there's just a lot of random stuff in here, um, and we are not going to be nice today. We are going to literally try to get rid of as much as we can. Hopefully the light is okay. I can't really see all that well, but hopefully, hopefully it is all right. So, oh gosh, okay. My knees are going to hurt so bad after this. We are going to start um, up here. I do have these little like drawer things. I got these from, oh, I honestly, like, I'm sorry. I truly don't remember where I got these from. I feel like my mom got them for me from somewhere. I'm not really sure, but I do know that you can find these on Amazon. Um, so I have one here and then I have one on the other side and we're just gonna start up here. This up here is mostly lotions and deodorants. So we're just gonna pull this bad lad out and just start taking stuff out. So the first thing that I know I'm gonna keep is my Johnson's Baby Lotion. I use this every single day. I don't use expensive skincare. The only moisturizer I ever use is just baby lotion. So I know we are for sure gonna hold on to this guy right here. Um, my deodorants, the two that I've been loving lately, it's really dirty, I'm sorry. The Lady Speed Stick in Powder Fresh. This one is like my all time favorite. It's almost gone, so I need to get more, but we're gonna hold on to that guy. I also have another lotion in here. This is just my Lubriderm. I'm definitely gonna hang on to this because this is what I call my tattoo lotion. Uh, very, very good lotion for tattoos, so we're gonna hang on to that guy. And then we have so many Bath and Body Works lotions in here, like just way too many. Like I have one body, I don't need this many lotions. And then we just have some baby oil, which literally I don't even know why this is in here because I don't use baby oils. Real quickly, let's just run through the lotion. So the baby lotion and the Lubriderm, we're gonna hold on to. I think I'm gonna trash this baby oil this aloe and vitamin E oil. I don't even, I don't even know whose this is to be perfectly honest with you. So we're just gonna trash that one. And then we have one, two, three, four. We have five different Bath and Body Works lotions. I do not need this many. And I know for a fact, some of these are very old. So my newest one, which is the one I absolutely love right now is this one right here. This is the Woodlands Body Cream Body Lotion from Bath and Body Works. I love the way this stuff smells. It is the best. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to this one. This one right here, the Aromatherapy the, what is this, Inspire. Even though this does really kind of smell like summertime and it does smell okay, it's just, I just don't use it. So I don't know, we'll put that off to the side. I also have this one, which is Denim and Daisies from Bath and Body Works. Ugh, that doesn't even smell good anymore. So this one's probably expired. So we're gonna let this one go. 
into the trash. Next we have the Dahlia Body Lotion by Bath & Body Works. Ugh. Again, this one does not smell good at all, so we're gonna trash that one as well. And then we have the Dark Kiss Body Lotion. It's in between these two right now, which one I wanna keep. Okay, okay. So I think between the two of these ones, I'm gonna keep the aromatherapy one because I prefer the smell of this one much better. And this one I'm sure is like three, four years old. So we're gonna, we're gonna trash that guy. Now we have my baby lotion for my face. We have my tattoo lotion and we have two of my favorite Bath and Body Works lotions. So we got that. So we're just gonna put those off to the side for now. Now let's move down to the bottom drawer down here. All right, so let's see. Okay, so we don't have very much in here. We have one of these little face brush things. Um, I do not use these anymore. Uh, even though I really like how exfoliating they are, I just don't use them because they're really not that good for your skin. So I think we're gonna part with that. Uh, we also have some baby powder in here. Okay. It's really bad for you. Like ladies don't use this, but okay. So I'm kind of weird, but I really like to put baby powder on my feet. I don't know why, but that's one of my favorite things to do after the shower is I like to put baby powder on my feet. It just, I like the way it feels. Baby powder smells good. So we're gonna hang on to the baby powder for sure. And then it looks like we have some tanning mitts and some self tanner. This is the Bondi Sands self tanning foam and this is in dark. I cannot remember the last time I used this to be perfectly honest with you. I think I used this for a birthday a couple years ago. Hmm, okay, we'll put this in the maybe pile. So that's everything in this drawer. I have two of these mitts. I think between the two of them, I'm gonna keep this mitt and then get rid of this one because I prefer this one much better. So we're gonna part with this one. So the two things we're getting rid of out of that drawer is this face brush and this tanning mitt. Just pop those in there and that is all done. So let's go through this little thing right here in the middle. Right here is just this kind of like little metal basket and this is where we keep like hair brushes, mine and my boyfriend's hair brushes. Um, he has his little like beard brush in here. Uh, we have some mouthwash and we have some glide floss picks in here. So I don't know why those are with the hair brushes, but yeah, so that's everything that's in this little metal basket. I don't know if I'm going to keep this basket or not. I mean, I thought it would be cute for storage, but yeah, I don't know. We also have my hair dryer in here as well. So this hair dryer is so incredibly old. I have had this for probably like 13 years. I hardly ever blow dry my hair just cause I don't ever use heat on my hair. Um, but I think I'll hang on to this because since I don't use it very often, when I do use it, like it still gets the job done and it's totally fine. So we are gonna keep my hair dryer, even though it is literally ancient and old. The other two things we kind of have just sitting here freely on the bottom is my Neomed piercing aftercare spray. If you guys know, you know how much I love this stuff for my piercings. It is absolutely fantastic. So definitely gonna hang on to this for sure. And then I have this lotion. I have an even bigger bottle of lotion. This is Spa Nature Hand and Body Lotion. My mom actually got this from her nail lady and it's really nice. Like it's like the lotion that they put on your hands after you get your nails done. So I have a whole bottle of that and I love it. So we're gonna keep that. So we have this side, the middle completely cleared out. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. So we have this top drawer right here and this is all hair stuff. Uh, starting from the back, I have this Suave Firm Control Boosting Mousse. I used to love to mousse my hair regularly. The reason why I'm probably gonna get rid of this is just because the amount of buildup that this causes on my hair. I don't like that. So I'm probably gonna part with it and I just have not used this in God knows how long. So next we have this Proclaim glossing polish. I don't even know why I have this to be honest. I wanna say my boyfriend got this for some reason, 
but he hasn't even touched it and this was like forever ago. Next, we just have a bag of hair ties. I just keep all my hair ties in this little bag right here. Um, I definitely use hair ties on a regular basis, so this is definitely gonna be a keep. Uh, we have more hair brushes. I don't know why my, these are not mine. Uh, I don't know why my boyfriend has so many hair brushes. He hardly has any hairs. Uh, next, we have this beard oil stuff. I got this for him like many years ago and he hasn't had a beard for at least a year, year and a half. So I'm probably gonna part with that because he just never uses it. And then next I have a couple of Brad Mondo hair products. I really like these. This is the X Mondo Hydromania Conditioning Mist. Really, really good stuff. But what I don't like about it is if you spray this like too close to your hair, it makes it really, really greasy and it just leaves kind of a gross feeling. So if you do use this, make sure you're like spraying far, far away from your head. <laughs> and then this stuff is the X Mondo Electric Rain Moisture Cream. This is probably my favorite product out of the two of them. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep, uh, actually, I don't know, I think I wanna hang on to both of them. And then I have probably my all-time favorite hair product. This is the L'Oreal L Vive Dream Lengths No Haircut Cream. I have been using this stuff for so many years and it is hands down one of my favorite products. Now, it doesn't like prevent or help heal split ends because you can't heal split ends, but I, I don't know what it is, but this stuff is just, it's so nice. I, I love it, it's like a staple of mine. It's really moisturizing. It smells absolutely delicious. Like this has been a repeat product of mine for so many years now when it comes to my hair. I love it. So this one, definitely a keep. So that top drawer is now empty. We have one more drawer to go right here on the bottom. And this drawer down here is like my skincare, um, acne stuff, you know, those things like that. So we have quite a bit of stuff in here. The first thing is another favorite product of mine. These are the Hero Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. I bought these just to try them and I seriously love them so much. Uh, I use them quite regularly. I only have one left, so I do need to order more of these. I just get them off of Amazon, but these are seriously great. Definitely gonna keep those. I have a couple of the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes left. Really like these makeup removers. I used to actually hate these, and I used to never ever use them because they always felt very rough on my skin. But I don't know what changed, but they're way better now and I definitely love these makeup wipes now. So I definitely need to get more of these too. So I gotta make a list because a lot of stuff's running low here. <laughs> uh, we just have a couple little cotton pads left for like toners and things like that. Uh, so I need to get more of those. I had three more products up in my med medicine cabinet that I really wanna add to this drawer. So this one is the Paula's Choice Exfoliating um, Liquid Exfoliant Toner. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. But I got this off of Amazon and I got this as a recommendation from you guys to help with my pores and blackheads. And this stuff is amazing. It's very expensive, but it's amazing. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I also have the Jeffree Star Skin. This is the Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer. I wanted to get this and try it, and to be perfectly honest with you, I'm probably not going to keep this because my skin does not like this product at all all like my skin hates it it burns when i put it on my skin turns bright red it's just it's horrible i really like the packaging of it but the actual product itself is a no-go for me my skin just doesn't like it i know it works really well for other people but for me it no my it my skin hates this stuff so i'm probably going to part with that next i have the pons cold cream makeup remover cream i got this to try because i really like the jeffree star makeup melt cream and somebody told me that this is very similar and that i should try this to save money well um just so you know this stuff fucking sucks like this doesn't even hold a candle to the Jeffree Star makeup remover because, I mean, this works, 
like okay, but not as good as the Jeffree Star one. I am still going to use this and I am still going to keep it, but I will not ever be repurchasing this again. I'm definitely going to stick with the Jeffree Star one because I like that one way more. Next we have... Gosh, we have a bunch of tools in here. We have this little like pimple popping kit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to that. We have a little um, feminine face shaver, which I absolutely love these things. I use it on my face just to get all the little peach fuzz off and it makes my makeup lay really well. We're gonna hold on to that guy. Oh, we have two of them. I have two face masks little applicator thingies right here. I do not need two of them, so I think I'm going to keep this pink one and get rid of this gray one. Next, we have this little like jade roller right here, and I got this because I've just, I saw these so hyped up everywhere, and I, I don't know, it feels really good on the skin, so I, but I just, I don't ever use this, so I'm just, I, I don't know. I guess I'll just keep it for aesthetic purposes. It does feel really, really nice on the skin. Next, we have some face masks right here. We have a hydrating aloe, aloe and sea berry sheet mask. That one right there. Um, I don't think these are expired yet. We have one of my favorite ones. This is the Freeman Pore Clearing Peel Off Mask. Holy crap, does this thing this thing will take your soul out. It says it's for men, but I use it as a woman and I absolutely love it. So we'll hold on to that. And we have a purifying green tea face mask, which I might use soon because my skin is freaking out and I just feel like I need like a full cleanse of myself. <laughs> so I might use this one. So we'll hang on to all of my sheet masks. And then it looks like we have just some, like a headband here, like a face mask headband. This is relatively new, so I'll probably keep that. And then we have this little bag, and inside are a whole bunch of makeup erasers. I love makeup erasers. You just get them wet, and it takes your makeup off really well. So I do like these, and I'm probably going to hold on to these as well. And I'll probably keep the little bag. Like, here's the little bag that they came in. It just says Magic Eraser on it. So I will hold on to those. That is the final drawer, and that is officially everything out of here. So now I'm going to rearrange everything. So here's everything I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this beard oil. I'm gonna get rid of this little face mask thing. I'm gonna get rid of the mousse. I'm gonna get rid of this glossing polish shit. I'm gonna get rid of the Jeffree Star moisturizer. And I changed my mind and I'm gonna get rid of the X Mondo conditioning mist because I was sitting here thinking and I was like, I do not remember the last time I used it. So I'm just gonna part with it. Okay, so that's everything that I'm getting rid of. Okay, this is getting full. <laughs> now with everything out of the way, I'm just gonna take my little handheld vacuum and I'm just gonna vacuum up some of the hair and then we'll take everything out and wipe it down really good. So let's do this. guys right here. Okay. and then I'm just gonna spray down underneath my sink here and then just wipe all of this down just to have a clean start it doesn't look like the prettiest under here but I mean when you're renting you can only complain about so much so like, look at that. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my God. Like, why? Why?
got everything cleaned, wiped down. So now we can start putting everything back and start organizing. So, um, oh my gosh, this bathroom is so small. It's not ideal. Okay, so this one goes here. I'm like appalled at how dirty these drawers were. Like it was really bad. So, okay, so we have that one here, here. All right, so I think I'm gonna keep everything like where it was originally. So like lotions, um, other things, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start with the lotions. We're gonna put the almost empty one and the brand new one. Um, we're gonna put these in the front because I do use these often. So the Lubriderm we're gonna put in the very back because I only use that for tattoos and I'm not getting another tattoo for at least a few months so that can go in the very back for now. Um, my Bath and Body Works lotions and what sucks is this bottle is so big. Oh actually will that fit? But I can't like pull it out. And then we'll put my other lotions right here. I'm also gonna put my bottle of Sleek Ink Vivid Tattoo Oil in here as well with my lotions because I really need to start using this stuff again. I love this stuff. It just makes your tattoos look so new and healthy. So I'm gonna pop that in here as well. And then I think we'll just put the baby lotion right here. So that looks good. All the lotions are in there. Down here in this drawer, I'm going to put my self tanner. Oh, if it'll fit. Yeah, we'll just put my self tanner down there. We'll put the self tanning mitt down there. So I'll just put my Neil Med piercing aftercare spray down here. And then I think I'll put the baby powder and my deodorants down here as well. So those have a spot. Oh my gosh, that fell, that's fine. Okay, so that's done. Moving on to this drawer, I'm gonna keep this one hair stuff. So I'm gonna put, see, I don't know what brushes my boyfriend wants to keep or get rid of, so I'll just put the brushes in here for now. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put like these are like our everyday brushes, so I don't know where I'm gonna put those yet. And I'll just slide my hair ties back in here. And then I'll just put my two hair gels. I guess I'll just put our other brushes up here for now. Down here in this drawer is gonna be all skincare. So I think in this little like magic eraser bag, I'm gonna pop this headband in here and just zip that up. We'll pop that back there. My makeup remover stuff there. The pimple patches. Makeup remover wipes. All of my face masks right there. And then all of this like extra loose stuff, I'll just slide right there. So, and then this little toner, I'll also put down in here. And then just the rest of my little makeup pads just right there. Boom. Okay. So that's done. Right here in the middle, I'll just put my hair dryer back here. Um, just because I don't really use it that much, I think it'll be fine back there for now. Okay. This little basket, I'll just pop right here again. I just decided I'll hold on to it. And then I'll just put the mouthwash and the floss picks right there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And here is the after of underneath my bathroom sink. Oh my, it looks so much better. This is stuff that goes under the bathroom sink because this is the stuff that we reach for the most after the shower. So I think it looks really good. It looks a hell of a lot better. Everything in this trash bag is all stuff that we got rid of. So I think we did oh, pretty, pretty good, you guys, because this is, 
This is completely full. Look at that. I'm already starting to feel better. Just getting rid of things that I don't need. It just, it feels amazing. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, go down, thumbs up, subscribe, turn on all notifications. If you wanna see more decluttering videos from me, make sure you go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I love you guys, happy spring cleaning, and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys, bye. Mwah.